Hi, my name is Lauren Estrada. I am a lead transfer advisor here at Texas Tech University. Um, we are here today to go over the transfer admissions process as well as answer any questions that you guys may have about the transfer process. Um, so just a little bit about Texas Tech University. It is in Lubbock, Texas. It's about eight hours from the Houston area, five hours from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, most of our students come from outside of a 300 mile radius from Lubbock. And so that means we have students from all over Texas, um, all 50 states and 100 different countries. Just a couple more points about Texas Tech. Texas Tech is a top 100 public university based off of the US News and World Report. Um, and we're also ranked number 72 for the best value public colleges. And so if you're a transfer student, you're most likely looking to save some time and some money. And so Texas Tech would be a good fit for you. So some important dates for applying to Texas Tech, just generally, um, the FAFSA becomes available on October 1st. And then if you're applying for the spring semester, we ask you guys to apply by November 1st. And if you're applying for the fall semester, we ask you to apply by May 1st, just so that way you have some time um, when you're admitted to come up to Lubbock, go to orientation, kind of get a feel for it. If you need to find somewhere to live, you can do that while you're in that in-between time before the semester starts. So as far as the application is concerned, what we're going to have you do is go ahead and go on to applytexas.org. You're going to fill out the transfer application. Um, you're going to send us your $75 application fee. And we also offer a fee waiver, which you can find online. Um, and then we'll need your official transcripts from any institution you've attended post high school graduation. So if you've attended a university and a community college or a couple different community colleges, we'll need all of those official documents from them to give you a final decision. And then if you have less than 12 transferable credit hours um, your first semester out of high school, we'll have you send your high school transcript as well as your SAT or ACT scores. So for t transfer students, um, we have assured admission. And with that, if you have between 12 and 23 transferable credit hours, you're going to need a 2.5 cumulative GPA for assured admission. And then if you have 24 or more transferable credit hours, we're looking for a 2.25 cumulative GPA. We do have a couple of majors that require certain GPAs or that are restricted GPAs. So if you're interested in the Rawls College of Business, they're looking for students to have at least 15 transferable credit hours and a 2.75 GPA. And then our Whitaker College of Engineering also requires a 3.0 GPA and at least 24 transferable credit hours. Um, a couple of the other restricted majors include like biology, microbiology, um, that is a 2.5 GPA, and then also our community family and addiction studies degree is a 2.5. Um, and then architecture is also set at a 3.0. So Texas Tech does have two really great transfer scholarships. The first one is our presidential transfer scholarship. That one requires you to be a Texas resident. You have to have at least 30 transferable credit hours and a 3.0 GPA. And the one piece of that is that you have to have the financial need as evidenced by FAFSA. Um, and with that, if you qualify, you get $3,000 per year, and that's renewable for up to three years. Um, the second transfer scholarship is the Proven Achiever Scholarship, and that one is 60 transferable credit hours and a 3.5 GPA. So if you meet both of those, you're automatically awarded the scholarship, and that is $4,000 a year for up to three years. Okay, so some common questions that transfer students typically have when they're applying for this upcoming semester are going to be, when should I send my transcripts? When should I apply? So we would like for you to apply as soon as you've kind of decided that you want to come to Texas Tech. So the earlier the better, because that way you have more time to kind of get comfortable and know that you've been admitted and have everything settled before you start school. Um, and then we want you to send your transcripts when you apply. And even if you have work in progress, that's OK. We're going to have you send your transcript again at the end of the semester so we can see what grades you made and make sure that you um, still meet the GPA requirement and we get you the credit for those classes. Other questions are like, if you have like a 2.8 and you're interested in engineering, um, if you'll still be admitted, yes, you'll still be admitted to the university and we'll have you be like an explore STEM major or if you're interested in business and don't have the GPA, you'll be an explore business and industry major for your first semester until you meet that GPA requirement and then you can be in the college of your interest. 
other students. They're also curious about housing. Um, if you have more than 30 transferable credit hours post high school graduation, you can live on campus or off campus. If you have less than 30 transferable credit hours, we're going to have you stay on campus your first year with us. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, you can either ask anyone on the pre-transfer advising team or anyone undergraduate admissions can get you taken care of.